I will stand also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Look at that. That gives us an even better description of where he possibly was. He said, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. So that lets me know he was below the clouds. All right. He had a throne. And he said, I'm going to make my throne above God's throne. Read on. I will be like the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the side of the thing. All right. Now right here, prophets do this. He goes from talking about those before his fall all the way to the end. He doesn't give us any warning. He just does it. The end, Lucifer is going to be brought to the sides of the pit. A lot of people get a description in their mind. They think Lucifer is going to rule hell. But he's not going to rule hell. He's going to be at the side of the pit, scratching the pit out, just like everybody else. And what are they going to do? Read that next verse. Read. That see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth tremble, that did shake the kingdom? Is this him? No. This isn't the guy that gave me so much trouble. Surely, no. They're going to narrowly look. He's not going to rule hell. They're going to narrowly look upon him and say, I can't believe this is him. Can you believe that? All right, from right there, let's go to Ezekiel chapter 28. Another description of Lucifer. A couple of books over from where we were. Ezekiel chapter 28. And verse number 13. And uh, spin an evening in the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering. The sardis, the topaz, and the diamond, and the beryl, and the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, and the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold, the workmanship of thy fabrics, and thy pipes were prepared in thee in the day that thou wast created. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I, and I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God, thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou wast perfect in thy ways from the day that thou wast created, till iniquity was found in thee. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned therefore. I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God, and I will destroy thee, O covering cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. Thy heart was lifted up because of thy beauty, thou hast corrupted thy wisdom, by reason of thy brightness, I will cast thee to the ground. I will cast thee where? To the ground. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. All right, now there's a lot to that right here, and we could really take some time to teach on this scripture. Um, he was the anointed chariot that covers. He had a job in heaven. He went before the glory of God. And if you look at all these different stones that were in him, it gives a description of each stone. And if you were to study out these stones, each stone is a different color. And as the anointed cherub that covered it went before the glory of God. And if you begin to do a in that study of the scriptures, you'll realize that God has always desired for his glory to be covered. Amen. And he's going before the glory of God. And God is light. And the light of God would shine through Lucifer, the anointed cherub that covered it. And as this light of God will shine through Lucifer in heaven, that light will shine through each stone. Each stone being a different color, it would put a beam of light into the heavens. Can you imagine the laser light show? Where do you think Rock and Roll got it from? They got it from Lucifer. Was the anointed chair to cover. And the Spirit of God is, is as a rushing, mighty wind. And it would flow through Lucifer. And Lucifer had all of these pipes prepared within him. And the most beautiful, I can just imagine the most beautiful music going forth in heaven. And the laser light showed. And all of the hosts of heaven would recognize the anointed chair to cover that's going before. Can you imagine that? 
That's why Lucifer had so much influence in heaven. Because they saw the glory of God as it would shine through Lucifer. That's why a third of the stars in Revelation, it says a third of the stars, a third of the angels fell with him when he fell. You follow me? Yeah. Right. He had that much influence. That's that's why that was the first sin. Pride. He became prideful because of his beauty. But why was he beautiful? He was beautiful because he was allowing the glory of God to shine through him. And it also says by reason of his brightness. Why was he bright? Because he was allowing the glory of God to shine through, through him. That's powerful. That's why the child of God can get himself in so much trouble by allowing himself to be full of pride. And he can render himself so ineffective. A prideful person is a very unattractive person. Oh, I, I keep getting back on this. Yes. But when the child of God humbles himself and denies himself and begins to allow the glory of God to shine through him, he becomes a very beautiful person. Amen. Right. Yes. Amen. And a very effective person in the kingdom of God. That first pride, that first sin is pride. The only way we can be beautiful, or we can be anointed, or we can be powerful, we can be used to God, is that we get rid of ourselves and we allow the glory of God to shine. Amen. Is that all right? Right. Yes. Um, and the last thing he said, I will cast thee to the ground. the ground. Luke chapter 10, verse 18. Luke chapter 10, verse number 18. I'm going to read that. This is Jesus speaking. Read loud. I can hear you. I beheld Satan as lightning. Covered in 
water.